It's estimated that about 500,000 persons have lost their lives in the space of three years to insecurity challenges in the country, and about 5 million Nigerians and non-Nigerians have been displaced due to the activities of armed conflict, not forgetting the number of women that have surrendered themselves to all forms of sexual and mental abuses to the insurgency. For this reason, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, with the support of Open Society Initiative for West Africa, gathered journalists in Lagos to discuss and prefer solutions to the rising cases of insecurity and civil harm going on in the nation. The Executive Director, CISLAC, Awal Ibrahim Musa Rafsan Jani, and the Program Manager, CISLAC, Salaudin Hashim, spoke on the way forward amidst this crisis. The executive, the legislature, and judiciary must welcome to their responsibility as central in the constitution for providing security and safety to Nigerians. When they do that, they will realize that people will be willing to provide support to government in the creation. It is where we call on the government to, as a matter of urgency, consider adoption of the protection of civilians and civilian harm mitigation policy into law. The responsibility of government to provide security for its citizen can be improved if all arm of government work together. It is actually to amplify the conversation around the protection of civilian and civilian harm mitigation, particularly in armed conflict, because we believe that all of these things put together would actually allow for a robust uh, protection framework and a regime uh, that would advance the cause of human security and promote the level of um, uh, citizen participation in governance. Some respondents who spoke with NTA gave suggestions on what the government should do to protect civilians from harm. Passport, they enter freely, which is wrong. Which is wrong. Governments should take steps. They see enough of we sleeping and just keeping quiet. Enough of us keeping quiet. We need to voice out. Governments should create. They should be uh, create security for the country. What is their aim in this country? Is it not to to um, to care for the citizen? Okay. By putting in place state uh, state police in different different. Um, Different, different states in which a way that they should be able to differentiate both stranger and the indigent. At the end of the section, the need for media organizations across the country to bring to light ways of tackling and reporting both civilians and incidents, as well as civil litigation, among other ideas, were stressed. Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, is a non governmental, non profit advocacy group that seeks to improve policies and legislative framework in governance for people-oriented development. In Lagos, Ntami Igbe.